All right, so this is part two of our tutorial on how to create illustrated characters. The first one we talked about uh, creating the curved line, working with the curved line. Now we're actually going to start working with the shapes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create my base shapes. And um, in this particular image, uh, we've got our hair and we've got our uh, face. If I was going to do the entire image, I might do the clothes. So there's going to be a certain color that that represents my base shape. So it's going to be um, the foundation. And then if I want to embellish it, I can put things on top of that. So let's go ahead and create the first base shape. And what I'm going to do is create the face area first. And um, click the Curve tool. Let's go ahead. I know the hair is going to cover up the area, uh, the face, so that's okay. So I can just start up in the hair here. And then I can just start working on the curve until I get the kind of curvature that I want. Uh, if you mess up, it's okay. You can select the um, the delete key and delete the curve. So now that's that works. So this is kind of my face shape. Now what I want to do here is let's fill it first. So I'm going to come up here and fill it with this kind of the skin tone color. Then I want to get rid of my guiding line. So just no outline. So you can see I kind of have my core face shape. If I do need to make edits, I can always right click, edit points, and I can move uh, these points around uh, to get the shape a little closer to what I want. In this case, I'm fine with this. So I've got my core shape. Now I'm going to go to Home Selection Pane. And so here's one of the tips is start to name things that you draw. So in this case, this is going to be my face. Right, and then we have our picture here. So this way if I want to turn things on and off, I can quickly find those in here and turn them off. So I've got my face. Now let's go ahead and do the hair. And again, it um, doesn't have to be perfect. I can always fix it later. So we're going to kind of start drawing up here and follow the curve of the hair. I'm going to do this here. We'll assume that this is what we want. This now I've got a question here is do I want to go all the way down with the ponytail? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say yeah. So I'm going to just come down here and um, do the ponytail. It doesn't have to be perfect because nobody's going to know what the original image looked like anyway. So I've got the ponytail here. Uh, we're going to come up here and then we're going to start drawing that out and. That looks pretty good to me. And again, if you want to fix it, you can right click and fix it. We're going to go ahead and fill this with black. And then we'll get rid of the outline. So we kind of have our shape starting out. And we'll call this hair. All right, so there's your basic tip. So getting started with the base shapes. So we get the hair, we got the face. You can see how it's starting to work out. Um, if I want to, you know, I can edit the points. And maybe I want to bring this out. A little bit more, I can do that, and um, there's a lot of neat things you can do with that. So that looks pretty good for now. Uh, the one thing I do notice is this: I want this probably more on the outside of the face. So let's go ahead and drag that out here, and so we've got that. So good starting point. Now we need to create the ear, right? So that'll be the last thing we create uh, this way. So let's go ahead and turn all this stuff off. Let's create the ear, same thing, the ear shape. Uh, you can zoom in if you want to. Um, this is working for me. We're going to fill that with that flesh tone color. Let's go ahead and get rid of the outline. We'll type in ear. And now when we look at this all, see we've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good starting point. So you can see how easy it is to create uh, the illustrated characters. Now what I'm going to do is show you a few things on how to embellish the characters. So um, one thing is uh, create the base shapes and then you can start to add some accent to that. So uh, one of the things when we look at the character here, in this particular case you can see there's kind of a darker effect here. Now the flat image works, right? So if I just go with this. This actually works. If I wanted a darker um, shadow here or line, I can do that. And, and 
What I want to do now is I've got my base shape and everything I put on top of the base shape I want to make darker and then I want to play around with the transparency. So um, what you could do is let's let's go ahead and turn all this off. Let's go ahead and create a shadow effect. So we're just going to start up here because it's going to be covered by the hair anyway. And so let's say we've kind of got a a face shadow um, that kind of goes like this, right? So that's good enough. Now I'm going to fill this since I started in this color scheme. I'm just going to fill it really dark, and then turn this off. And now if I turn the face on. We'll put the hair and ear, everything else on here. Now what I can do is if I right click and um, format shape, I'm going to get this window here, my properties, and I can start to play with the transparency. And so you can see how that works. So do a very subtle transparency. Now I, this isn't lined up perfectly, so that's where I can come in here and play with the shadows, right? And then you can play with the lines and and whatnot. So let's go ahead and drag that out a little. That looks fine for me. And so now I've got a nice little shadow. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's an illustrated character. And you can do the same thing with the ears. So this is going to, we'll call this side face side, just so we know what that is. Let's turn all that off. Let's look at the ears. So you can see the ears kind of got a darker place in here. Let's go ahead and do that and so we're going to go ahead and let's grab this here. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? And we're just going to do that. We'll make it dark here, we'll turn it off, and then let's put the face stuff on and see what it looks like. And so I can go ahead, um, if I want to put more detail in there, I can. I'm just going to go ahead and right click that and make it change the transparency on there just to add a little bit of texture, right? So you've got that. If you want to add a gradient in there, that works. And then you can see how you can slowly start to build out your characters. And then again, when you're working with the things like the faces, uh, let's go ahead and turn all this off. Um, you don't want all the detail. So you don't want um, every single wrinkle, every single shiny point. You just want enough to kind of give you the essence of that. Let's go ahead and do the mouth. Um, this is where I can zoom in. Oops. Let's zoom in here. I didn't zoom in. Let's zoom in a little more on the mouth here. And um, we'll see how that works out. So first thing I might want to do like a kind of a darker color and then do the teeth. Uh, again, depending on how much detail you want to put in here. So let's just go ahead and we can do that. Right. And again, what's nice is these things don't have to be perfect. So I might do like a really dark, um, dark red on that. I'll take this color here, and then um, I can turn off the outline. So now I can modify the points here. This is where I might want to say because I want to have the teeth um, in there anyway. So we can kind of get the points in here, and you can see how that works. Let's just bring that down. That looks good enough uh, for this. And so we've got that. So we can call that, you know, mouth inside or or whatever you want to call it, just so it's easy uh, to recognize. And then um, we're going to go ahead and let's hide that. Uh, we'll just do the teeth real simple. I'm just going to create white. Where the teeth should be, we'll just do that. Now this isn't going to. This is going to look more like a horse, probably, but that's okay. Uh, let's fill it with white, and then the last thing we'll call this teeth. And again, if you want to use gradients and stuff, you can make it a little bit more detailed. Let's go ahead and do the lips. Um, this is where, with the lips, I'll probably use the transparency as well, right? So, let's say I come down here, I kind of have the general shape of the lips. Right, so we got that. Now at the lips here, let's fill that. Let's fill them with this reddish color. You can actually make them a little darker. Go ahead and get rid of the outline. Now this is where I want to edit the points to make sure I've got them. So first thing is I can move them around 
and then I can kind of edit the points up here. So I can get in. This is the way the detail work comes in handy. And let's say this is good enough, right? Now this is where I will also want to work with the transparency. So right click format shape. Let's work with the transparency on here. Because then uh, if we actually put the face on here, you can start to see how this looks pretty decent, right? So, and then we'll keep this this way. Let's go ahead and do the last part of the lips and then we'll we'll call that good. I'm going to go ahead and do this shape again. We're going to come down here. Um, we're going to round this up. This will work, right? So we're going to come up here and let's and you could do the format painter here and that will save you a few tips. And let's go ahead and add all that together. Get rid of the picture. Let's go ahead and you can see I'd have to do some adjustments but you can see how it starts to to pull together. So if I start to edit points, you know, that's easy enough uh, to adjust to adjust that there. Um, so it's just a matter of playing around with it. But a lot of really cool things you can do with this once you get the handle on that. Now if we zoom out, it looks pretty good, right? And it's your own illustrated character uh, using PowerPoint.